They recently found that plants are capable of classical conditioning. Yeah, just like Pavlov, plants can anticipate getting a treat in the presence of a neutral stimuli. We do know that plants respond to things like the sound of rain or the sound of little critters chewing on their leaves. We already knew that they didn't like being touched, for example. And there is some pretty good evidence that they make sounds in response to danger and other plants can hear them. These guys taught plants to expect light when they felt a fan. Yes, they would blow a fan on a plant prior to flashing light at them. Now, if you just have light, the plants will grow towards it, that's phototropism, as they should. But if they blew a fan on them ahead of the light, they would actually learn to associate the fan with the light. So in the presence of just the fan and no light, they would start growing towards the fan. They expected that they would get food after air was blown on them. This is the very same idea that was groundbreaking at the time, that if you rang a bell ahead of dogs getting a treat, they would start to salivate at the sound of the bell. Yes, people proved that that happens too with plants. This was done with the common pea plant. Yes, the same plants that demonstrated how genetics works, how alleles work. These discoveries are incredible. We've discovered that plants can perceive sound in forms of smells, that they can inform their neighbors in a way of what is going on. We assumed that they were entirely different from animals. Apparently, perceiving the sensation of a fan too, all without a nervous system, without a brain. Yes, plants are quite different with what we think of as intelligence that we see in animals. They have to spend their entire lives stuck in a single location. It makes sense that they would have to develop a sort of intelligence. Things like perceiving sound does make sense. It means if something is happening, they can respond to it before it gets there. That would mean that they want to respond long before because they can't really see it coming. What this does make me think of is if you have, say, a basil plant in your kitchen and maybe you always turn on music before you start cooking. Does it learn to fear the sound of music? Because I think that is a reasonable concern at this point. Do you talk to your plants before you water them, for example? Are they learning to be comforted by the sound of your voice? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's possible now. I need to go apologize to my cactuses for forgetting to turn their grow light on for like three days. Yeah, they aren't really thinking in the way that we consider thinking to be a thing. They're doing something entirely different, and we are only just starting to scratch the surface on that. I think what we'll find as we continue investigating all life is that it's capable of a lot more than we ever considered possible. We may even find that humans are capable of more than we thought. I'm not saying we're going to find out we're psychic or anything. We just may have more sensation than we realize. People are quite capable of navigating with sound bouncing off objects when they haven't used their eyes for a while. And it's a skill that you can learn. I've even seen people ride mountain bikes with it. If you want that video, let me know.